Hello, this is Chris Johnson with Cross Company and welcome to our tip section for using MeasureX software on OGP E-Series machines. Welcome to our next section of MeasureX software from OGP. In this section, we're going to discuss how do we set an origin. Right? Anytime we have a part on the stage, we want to set up an origin and alignment. And the part that's on the stage now is really similar to the one I'm holding in my hand. Where we're going to have two circles, one on each side of the part. We're going to measure both of those, set up an alignment, and also measure a plane around the top of the part to do a datum level. Okay, so we'll get started. The first thing that we want to do is measure a circle. In our previous tips sections, we use the feature finder to measure that circle. We will do so. We have a circle that is measured. And our next step is going to be to set an origin on that circle. Icon is listed here, the bottom row, the second one over, and it says datum origin. Anytime we take the mouse and slide it over an icon, it'll tell us what it is. So we'll select the datum origin, select the feature, we're going to select our X and Y zero and select OK. And upon doing that, we can see that Measure X puts our origin symbol in the middle of the circle and also lists that feature as datum A. So let's go measure datum B. We come to the end of the part, select our feature finder, measure our circle, Okay. Come to the next icon from datum origin, which is datum alignment. We'll select that icon, toggle over to select the feature itself, we clicked on the circle. We're going to align the X axis here in datum alignment, align the X, select OK, and we'll see now that our alignment is set to datum B. So now we have a datum A, a datum B. Now we'll measure a point on top of the part and we'll select that as a datum C. So we'll do our focus target, which we talked about in our previous tips and tricks. And we'll focus on a point. We select inside the video window with our focus target. We have a point selected, we will select OK. We will come back to our datum origin, select the point on the screen, and zero the Z axis. So we'll put a checkbox next to zero the Z and click OK. And we will see in the center of the screen that that is now our datum C. As we toggle back to our model window, it's up here, as we talked about in our previous tips. We can now see all the features that were measured. We have two circles. We have an alignment in the x-axis going to this circle. And we have a datum C. Stay tuned for our next tips as we talk about positioning and geometric tolerances.